Okay. Uh, yeah, Assalamualaikum and good evening everyone. So today we we are going to have our uh, third group discussion. So this section is about sport. So before that, um, I will introduce myself. So my name is Wafa Mithi Mahata. My matrix number is 206278. So for today's uh, discussion, I would like to show my, let me share screen first. So, can everyone see it? Okay, so for this, uh, this discussion, I choose a topic uh, written by William Skidelsky. Uh, the title is Why Tennis is the Best Sport of All. So basically, uh, we all know that tennis is a quite um, quite popular sport. Um, so basically, in this uh, in this uh, article, uh, it shows us about why the tennis is the best sport. So even though uh, we think that tennis is actually uh, harder than badminton and ping pong, right? But uh, and and then uh, tennis is uh, requiring a lot of movement, like stated here. Tennis may look straightforward, um, which is the two players hitting a ball back and forth across a net. But uh, it's, it is not easy uh, like that. Uh, it uh, it uh, requires a lot of movement. And then why uh, the, the, uh, this sport is, uh, the, is the best? because it, it has strategic variations and and so and also the third one is uniquely uniquely satisfying uh, we all know that uh, we have seen that uh, there are a lot of players playing this sport uh, because uh, and and also uh, as stated here, tennis players as a free will they make will they make choices and they are decision, they are sense of accountability. If you screw up, it's basically your fault. So it means here that uh, tennis is actually is not uh, uh, an easy sport that we can do uh, without any exercise. Uh, it will not show uh, it, will sh it will not show us the best performance. So I think that is all from me. So who won next? Thank you. Okay, I will continue. I will continue. Okay, so Assalamualaikum and good evening. To so, everyone, I am Nafarisha Binti Zulkifli with metric number 205920. Okay, today I would like to share the sport news with the title Top Senior Shuttle One Siong Rage to Reach, Tell and Inspiration to All. This news uh, is on Wednesday, 18 November 2020 by Rajesh Pau. Okay, uh, this news is about the senior badminton player, Chan Wan Sios, 66 years old. Based on this news, uh, he graduated with an economic, economic degree uh, and also have a position as a executive vice president of the M Bank Group. And uh, he loves to play a badminton. Uh, he started playing badminton since he was children uh, with his family. And also uh, based on Chan Wen Xiong, Chan Wen Xiong 
said badminton was badminton was on uh, badminton was an outlet for his to excel and it has helped finance his education through the scholarship okay so what i can summarize from this news uh, although we have a good education a good position we also can catch our interest into a sport or other than that this is for improve our self learning and also to improve ourselves to be more productive and we can experience more in everything that we did okay uh, i think that's all from me okay who wants to continue next i'll continue next Okay, uh, good evening everyone. My name is Nur Zafira and my metric number is 205594. So today I'll be talking about an article from the SPA with the title Florida Athlete Become First with Down Syndrome to Complete Ironman that is published on the 10th of November 2020 on Tuesday. So basically this article talks about a 21-year-old Florida resident, uh, Chris Nikik, who had joined a triathlon and he became the very first athlete with Down syndrome to achieve the feat. Uh, so he had spent almost 17 hours after embarking on the 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride and a full marathon. So due to his hard work, he had managed to earn a place in the Guinness World Record and he also managed to inspire thousands of social media followers by his determination to overcome one of the sport's toughest challenges. Uh, so uh, as you can see from a YouTube video, it shows that Nikki was in action and his father was very proud of him that he was uh, nearly close to tears. Uh, Nikki was uh, born with a genetic condition which makes him have a little uh, learning disability and slower physical development. So he took up triathlon three years ago after having four year surgeries which kept him living a more sedentary lifestyle and gaining weight and so due to that he had set a target of becoming at least one percent fitter each day and so he began with one push-up but now he trains six days a week uh, so to conclude i think from this story uh, Nick, uh chris nick can be an inspiration to people who face the same challenges as him and he can be an example to other kids and families who face similar barriers by proving no dream or goal is too high so he can inspire everyone that who, regardless who you are and what are your disabilities you can you can achieve your dream thank you So can I continue? Okay. So everyone can see my screen. Okay. So my name is Naatira Binti Mama Abadi. My magic number is 207898. So for today's topic, I'm going to present about Farah who is Malaysian Malaysian gymnast. Uh, she uh, feels glad to be a Barbie who inspires girls to achieve their dreams. So this article was written on the on today on today which is 20 November. So in this article it says that uh, Farah uh, is uh, has become a part of a uh, Barbie cam new campaign, which is uh, "You Can Be Anything." This campaign is to encourage uh, youngsters to uh, to be ambitious and aim toward what they want to get. And then uh, Farah stated about that uh, on her social media. So and then uh, she. Uh, uh, Farah said that uh, she, she was really short and she never thought that 
she will be uh, the, the, the part of this uh, Barbie dolls, um, uh, what we call Barbie dolls uh, model. And then uh, uh, this campaign is really can inspire other uh, other people, I, I mean like girls, uh, about to about their potential on something, uh, maybe like uh, in gymnastics or anything. And and then uh, the dog is not for sale, it's just for a model to remember. So basically, uh, I think these articles uh, attract my attract my attention because of the campaign because of the campaign and and be, this uh, as we know that we can help uh to spread about this campaign to everyone so that's all from me I continue. Okay. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone today. My topic is about Itori Langkawi. So as you can see, the topic is Itori Langkawi cancelled due to COVID-19. Um, by Fadil Isha, November 18, 2020. Um, so, we, as we all know, there are a lot of events have been cancelled due to this pandemic, as well as <coughs> this event race. The Malaysian National Cycling Federation announced that this originally, this race originally scheduled <coughs> for January 30th of January and 6th of February until 6th of February will not be held next year. This is because <laughs> this is the first time the iconic race will not be organized since 1996. So MN MNCF President Dr. Abu Samar Wahab said uh, an animal's decision was made to cancel next year's edition and maybe they have it in 2020. There were many factors which had to be considered by everyone involved and they believe this cancellation was, was the most pragmatic decision under such circumstances. The organizer will also find it hard to get the elite team to compete in the race. So, Lichor Dilangkawi stated that they would prefer that the race be either postponed or cancelled due to this pandemic. However, I think the race I think the racer should not be down, should not feel down because they cannot race instead of. Instead, I hope they should always keep being fit and be ready for any situation. So I think that's all for me. Thank you. So, uh... Can I continue? Okay, Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Nadila Binti Matno. My matrix number is uh, 2082-73. Today, uh, I, I would like to talk to tell you a news about Farah N. Uh, as we all know, Farah N is one of a national artistic gymnastic. Um, the title of the news is Gymnast, Gymnast Farah wins Sea Game Gold. Uh, this news written, was written by Fadli Isaha at 2 December 2019. In this news, uh, artistic gymnast with which is Farah N dance her way to in in the individual all around event at the Philippine Sea Game, she was achieved a long awaited win as national record one, two, one anti three victory uh, in the individual individual event. During the in the individual event, 
she received strong support from the Philippine people. The final result of individual event, uh, Indonesian, uh, which is Ifan Nalutfi, came in second place, and Faras teammate, uh, which is Tan in UA, complete with podium. She feel very happy to win the fifth SEA game. For, for your information, she started learning gymnastics at three years old. Start compete, competing in. Um, eh, she start learning gymnastics at three years old. Um, she start uh, competing at six years old. Joining the national team at eight years old. Uh, she was through so many challenges during training and competition, but she still loved the gym, gymnastics. So we can be her as idol. I think that's all for me. Thank you. So I uh, will continue. So my name is Farah Adisha. Uh, my matrix number is 208331. So I will share screen. So for today, I will share about uh, news about Malaysia will be one of the badminton giant in two years. Uh, it's were published on 23 October 2020. So in this news, uh, where Tan Sri Dor Noza Zakaria, uh, the president of Badminton Association of Malaysia, have stated that uh, they have confidence on the new ways of to training the uh, juniors uh, players where they uh, where they are getting the juniors under one roof and trained by a, a professional uh, a badminton player such as a former international Wu Chong Han and Dr. Miss Bon Tidek and many more and this will uh, improve our badminton status in worldwide. So for me, this is a good news because um, we must support our uh, players, our Malaysian players, and we must find the loophole the, to strengthen the uh, strategy to win, to improve our sports. So that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Farah. So, Assalamualaikum, everyone. This week, I would I want to share some news and updates about the England national football team. So maybe I'm the only one male here, but I I'm sharing it, anyways. So. Okay, so um, some of the latest news uh, for the national national team is uh, they had a match against um, Iceland, which they won four nil. So the match was the last group match for the Nations League. Um, but unluckily, they didn't. So, um, in this news, they also share the, uh, some of the um, the next mission, which is the Euro 2020. Uh, it was supposed to help this year, but it, it is postponed for next year. 
and also um, the writer shared some of the news of the, for the struggles they have um, with COVID-19 because as we know I think sports is one of the main sectors that uh, really affected get affected by COVID-19. Okay that's all from me thank you. Uh, okay, so thank you everyone uh, for sharing your uh, news and articles. So shall we start uh, voting for two news that can be included in our news? So any suggestion from you guys? So uh, for me, I'm going to vote for uh Farisha and Zafira because Farisha news attract my attention and Zafira news is about the Cinder Downs which is good to be published. Okay, that's it for me. Okay, so uh anyway. Do you agree with, uh, with Atira's suggestion or want to vote another news? I think I would vote for Atira's news and also Farisha's because I think both news have a very interesting content. So in that way, you can attract people to read the sports section. That is all. Um, as for me, I would like to vote for Atira's and Adila's content because uh, I love, um, I am, I am the fan of um, Farah N and uh, this this article, this this article is uh, going to be chosen, going to be choose so. I think um, this article will attract people to read about, about it. So, yeah. For me, I would choose Atira and Zafira because both content somehow attract people and also give a lesson uh, about life. So, it's a good thing. We can get both things, so that's all. Um, I think I agree with Farah, which is I choose Atira and Zafira. I also think I agree with uh, Farah. I choose Zafira and Atira News. Uh, Azlan, what do you think? Okay, uh, I also agree with Farah, Adila, and Farisha. Those are the best news. Okay, so uh, I will conclude then. So for this uh, news uh, that can be included in our news, uh, is uh, from Atira's and Zafira's news. Congratulations. So, uh, I think that is all from us for our third group discussion. So, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.